In this video, we're going to take a look at how to work with different sketch entity types. So to begin with here inside of a new part file, I'm inside of my sketch environment on my XY plane. I'm going to very simply create a two point center rectangle around my origin point here. Now, as you can see, it added these kind of light dashed lines. These are construction lines. What's interesting about these is they do not play into profile selection. So if I were to try to extrude this or revolve this or loft this, what would happen is I would only get the rectangle shape. I would not get these little triangles as these four different pieces. It would basically be just one big rectangle. Why do construction lines exist? Well, they exist so we can dimension them. We can try to force geometry to behave the way we want them to based on how we put in these construction lines. And we also have another type called a center line that also does a very similar scenario. For now, I'm just going to go up and start my line command and start building some geometry coming up out of this. I'll right click and choose OK. And I'll just kind of stretch this a little bit. What I would like to do is duplicate what we see down below. So what I'll do is create a line, right click again, and choose the construction type. I'll draw a construction line from corner to corner, both times. There we go. I'll choose OK. And there we have construction lines there as well. This really doesn't do us much good in this particular scenario because the rectangle lines themselves do a pretty good job here. What's really nice about the two point center rectangle below is because a lot of times this rectangle is built around the origin for symmetry reasons. So for up here, we're just kind of duplicating what we saw down below and how that can be generated with construction lines. The other line type I'm going to create, if I start the tool again, is a center line type. You can actually have a construction center line. You can toggle both of these on. For now, I want to turn on center line, right click again, and turn off construction line. Here I'll connect from the midpoint of this rectangle here to the midpoint of the line at the very top. There you can see it's created a center line, although it's not very vertical. We can fix that by using a vertical constraint. This is up here in our constraint panel. And I'm just gonna quickly choose the vertical option here to make that line vertical. Now you can also see that that became disconnected there. I'm just gonna reconnect that by dragging it over till it goes green on that dot. And down below, I'm gonna start my line command again, and this time do a construction center line, just to kind of show the difference of what I'm gonna have once I finish this sketch. Other things we can do to our geometry is change the entire color of a line. Primarily, you work with about three or four different colors inside your sketch environment. You have your yellow geometry, which is either construction or projected geometry. You have the green geometry here, which is unconstrained or loose geometry, which needs dimensions or geometric control to lock it in place. And then you have fully constrained geometry, such as the blue or dark blue lines you see there with the center lines, which are fully defined. So I'm going to finish this sketch. And if I start my extrusion command by right clicking and choosing extrude, the command tries to pick up profiles. So here it tries to pick up one below, or I can pick up this one here or this one here. But notice it didn't try to pick up half of that bottom rectangle. It only tried to pick up the entire rectangle itself. I'm gonna cancel this and double click on sketch one to go back into it. If I were to change this line here to be something completely unique, because maybe I need to identify it in a different manner, if I select it, right click and go to properties, I can make this line magenta, as a dash and a thicker line weight. I'll choose OK. Now this is still a valid line, even though it looks dashed or more construction in nature. So when I finish my sketch, the extrusion command will still pick up on that just fine because it is still a valid profile line. The software just recognizes this entity type of center line and construction a little bit differently. So as I enter the sketch again, how do I change this back to a normal line? Well, you simply select it and go up here to your format panel and you can see the center line button is pushed down. Just uncheck that and it goes back to normal. Same thing down here. If I want that to be a normal line, turn off construction and center. If I want to return this back to its normal color, right click on it and go to properties and change it back to default. 
Now this time, if I finish the sketch and try my extrusion command, you can see it picks up all four of these as separate profiles.